I hope you all stayed this long because this might be the best item I'm showing you. Hello and welcome to the new video. Other than my mic, I'm feeling very cute today. I'm feeling very fall meets 90s. 90s fall, if you will. I feel adorable. We are back for another haul. I enjoyed the haul so much that I did, I don't know, maybe two months ago, six weeks ago, uh, that I'm doing another one. This is a very collective haul. Like some of these things I've literally had for six months, but I'm now in my LA place and I gathered a bunch of things that I haven't shown you that I own. So I'm gonna show them to you. We've got everything from like wellness products, makeup, shoes, clothes, a book. Like we've got it all in this video. It's a little bit of everything, a mix of a lot of things. So there should be hopefully something for everyone. I'm gonna start out with this. That's backwards. Is it this way? I knew it, immediately I knew it, okay? This is one of my good friend's books. His name is Eddie Ndopu. Now I would not be telling you about this book if I did not love it so much. I wish I was a book review channel just to review this book. I have never had a book that I've loved more, like a nonfiction book, I should say. I've never loved a nonfiction book more than this book. It is riveting. I obviously listened to the audiobook. So you might be asking Molly, why do you have the hard cover? The hard cover. <laughs> the hard cover copy. And that is because I loved it so much I ordered three on Amazon for my loved ones because everybody needs to read this book. If you are disabled, you need to read this book. If you are not disabled, you need to read this book. If you love somebody who's disabled, you need to read this book. If you hate disabled people, you definitely need to read this book. Everybody needs to read this book. I rest my case, okay? Anything that I got on Amazon, including this book, will be linked in the description box below on my Amazon storefront, but you can also obviously get this at just like your local Barnes and Noble or whatever. The Gua Sha fam, I ordered this Gua Sha on Amazon as well. It was like, five or seven dollars, very good price. It's really nice. Oof, carves that jawline out so well. Love this. I have a Nordstrom bag. Most of this is not from Nordstrom, but I threw things in. Okay, I got these toothpicks. I love these toothpicks. They're like the rubbery kind that go between your teeth. If you have one of the permanent retainers, like the metal bars behind your teeth from years of dental work, you need these. It's the only way I can like floss between those teeth because I cannot string the floss through. It's not gonna happen, but these are a life changer. My teeth don't feel right going to bed without using these toothpicks. These ones are mint flavored too, which I appreciate all mint things. Speaking of super random, I ordered more of my favorite floss. I got a pack of three and it is the Hello Charcoal Floss. The people who get it, get it, okay? It's really grippy. Like my mom likes the glidey floss. I like the grippy floss. I wanna feel like it's ripping all the bacteria and food out from between my teeth. And this does that for me. We are moving on to makeup at Nordstrom's. They are currently, probably not when I post this, but as I'm filming it, doing like 15% off NARS. And I really needed to get replacements. Like I was fully scraping the bottom of the barrel with my products. I got the light reflecting foundation, which I like the NARS Sheer Glow. She gave me DeVille in the light reflecting, so I'm gonna have to exchange that, but it was 15% off, love that. Or maybe this is a sign from God that I'm supposed to try this foundation instead. And then we've got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, an oldie but a goodie. These are classics and they're classics for a reason. Stick with the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? And with my 15% off, they gave me a free gift with purchase. Reminded me, like, not only is shopping at the beauty counters and Nordstrom so much less chaotic than shopping at Sephora, but they also have like discounts and free products with purchase. So I got a mini um, orgasm blush, which I'm definitely putting in my travel beauty bag and a mini um, lippy, like liquid lip. I'm really excited for both of those. And then finally in beauty products, I have two mascaras, one of which I'm wearing today and my mom can't get over it. Incredible. I got both of these in PR, full disclosure. I can't get over this mascara. My mom said it literally looks like I have falsies on. It's crazy. It is the Tarte Tubing Mascara. It's so blind girl friendly first off. It is a rubber brush, which I don't mind, but it's like nice and teeny tiny, which makes it easier for me to do my makeup. And yeah, it just, the lashes are popping, okay? But I've been doing a lot of no makeup makeup days. And for that, I really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex in the chocolate brown shade because it makes my lashes separated and really fluffy looking, 
but the brown shade keeps them looking really natural with that like no makeup makeup look. This is my first time venturing into brown mascaras. I've always loved the Too Faced Better Than Sex, um, though I will say I think this tubing mascara like takes the cake if you like that really like crazy lash look. But for the brown natural mascara, I'm absolutely loving that. So both killing it. And now I'm gonna show you some of my thrifted finds, which are from ThreadUp, who is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to ThreadUp. ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store with over 40,000 brands and new products added daily. They also have a new feature where you can shop people's favorites. So if you have a favorites section on ThreadUp, which if you shop on ThreadUp, you absolutely must like that is how i curate my cart i first favor all the items i'm interested in then i go to my favorite items and i add the ones that i want to cart my recommendations when you're shopping on thought up is always save your sizes and check the quality so they will have like a thing that tells you the quality i always try to shop the new tags excellent or very good condition. Like those are the three that I try to stay within to make sure I'm getting items that are quality that I'm happy with. And now you can shop my favorites. I will have it down below. And on top of the already discounted items, you can get an additional 40% off your first order on ThreadUp using my code Molly Burke when you check out. So link down below to shop my favorites. And don't forget, Molly Burke for an extra 40% off. First off, this is so cute. I got this sweater from Madewell. Well, I mean, it was originally from Madewell, but it's from ThreadUp. And it is, what colors is it, mom? It's like lavender, brown. There's a, lavender, there's a light brown and there's a darker brown. So it's like neutrals with a little pop of lavender. It's a mock neck. It's so, it's like that perfect amount of cozy, comfy worn in. You will be seeing me rocking this all fall, winter long. It was originally $102, but I got it for $33.99. Next, you guys, this is so stinking cute. It's literally already been hanging in my closet. This dress from Maeve by Anthropology. Best part is it's the petites. I love that for me. Petites are so hard to find. Look at the details, like the frill along the arms and the collar, the different colored stripes. There's all these different like textures running throughout it. It's so colorful. I just simply adore this. Oh, so cute. And originally it was $127. Anthropology is expensive, but I got it for $30.39, which is 70% off retail. Next up, we know your girl is obsessed with looking up anything from Aritzia because I know the quality will remain intact. And I got this cashmere sweater. It is this beautiful pink color. It fits me perfectly. It has the collar, the buttons. Like this is adorable and it even matches my nails right now. And then two TNA crew neck cropped sweater steels. Like I feel like the same person gave, like sold both of these to ThreadUp. By the way, you can sell your clothes to ThreadUp and then that's who sell, they sell them. So if you're trying to clear out your closet, send them to ThreadUp. So this is a beautiful light blue one. And I also got this amazing limey green one. Okay, let's do shoes next. So if you watched my last haul, you know that I've been trying to replace my high top yellow Converse that are platforms because my feet grew in my late twenties apparently. So I just don't like any of the colors that Converse has out right now. I think it's so hard when you're trying to replace something that you like desperately loved, but you like lost it or it got ruined or it doesn't fit anymore. Like it's so much harder to replace something when you actually wholeheartedly loved it. And I wore those all the time. So I think I'm gonna have to wait till like next season when they bring out new colors and maybe I'll find ones that I love or maybe I'll even find the yellow ones like thrifted somewhere. To get my like colored high top platform fix in, I did get these from um, Vans. Very different vibe, but like I love them all the same. They are a forest green color with these tactile rubber flowers and they're different colors. So like each shoe has two of the flowers and they're different colors. So there's four different colors on top of the forest green. So there's like a pink one, an orange one, a purple one and a yellow one, I believe. And then the forest green shoes. I just think these are adorable. Those shoes are just so my vibe. Next, frankly, I can't stand having to buy stilettos, but I am hosting an award show I'm not hosting an award show. What am I saying? I'm hosting the red carpet at an award show and I'm presenting an award on stage that night. So, you know, red carpet, 
you gotta be glam. I've got this beautiful dress that I've had sitting in my closet waiting for the right moment for like six or eight months now from ASOS, like nothing expensive. I think it was like $75, which for a proper like fancy dress is honestly really affordable. And given I got such a good price on the dress, I didn't wanna then have to spend a bunch of money on the shoes, but I found these, they are these silver, Steve Madden shoes. They have two ankle straps, which I'm aware cuts my short legs off at the ankle, but all the other silver shoes were just too expensive for my liking. They're not the most comfy in the world, but they're comfortable enough for me to manage for the night. And I also have a bunch of other dresses for other events that these will look perfect with, like Christmas time and stuff. So I just felt like for the price point and the color, they work with everything I need them to work with. So I picked these up and I picked up a really affordable bag to go with the look as well at Zara, which is this, it is silver and sparkly. Again, very simple, but all in all, my look is under $200, which I feel like for a red carpet look is really good. I'll just be honest here to admit that Free People does have a chokehold on me. This color blue has a chokehold on me. This is my new, like I've entered officially my blue era, but this color blue, like it's a, for those who also can't see, it's like a cobalt blue. And I bought an outfit from Aerie in that haul video as well. That is this basically same color. And I can't stop buying this color. It's just presenting itself in my life. And it is one of my dark winter colors. Also the hotshot onesies have a chokehold on me. So I bought it in this cobalt. They had this color out in the hotshot onesie, I wanna say eight months ago and I saw it and I thought about buying it and I didn't and I lived to regret it. And I've thought about it every time I've put my hotshot onesies on since. And then one day I was looking at the website to send my friend the link to the hotshot onesie and they had it. And before I even sent her the link, I had ordered it, okay? And I don't regret it. I'm obsessed, I'm in love. By the way, I got a DM from somebody on Instagram who was like, I bought the hotshot onesie because it looks so cute on you, but it gives me diaper butt. I would like you to all know here and now, I too have diaper butt when I wear it. Neve Burke has diaper butt when she wears it. We all have diaper butt when we wear it. You embrace it, it's a part of the vibe, okay? We're not wearing it to show off the bod. We're not showing it to be hot, cute, or desirable. We are wearing it to be comfortable and to feel good, okay? So I just wanna be very transparent about the diaper butt you will have if you order it after seeing it on me for the past two years of your life. <laughs> and I got this a few months back. I ordered this at the same time on Free People. This is the Easy On Me Pullover um, by We The Free. That's the line versus the other one is the Free People Movement. This was controversial, okay? I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it. I asked you guys on a poll on Instagram if I should keep this and it was pretty split, but keeping it did win by like a small, small amount and I kept it. And frankly, I had already decided after that, like I posted it cause I was unsure, but by the time I looked at the results, I was sure I was keeping it. It is so chunky. I'm gonna bring this, I'm seeing my boyfriend's family, I'm meeting them for the first time. By the way, can you believe we've already been together for almost nine months? Wild. By the time I go for Thanksgiving, we will have officially been together for nine months. We will actually hit nine months when I'm there for Thanksgiving on the 22nd of November. And I'm meeting his family for the first time. They're on the East Coast, so it's gonna be cold. And I just think this is Thanksgiving vibes. It's cold weather vibes. The sleeves are just so soft. It's all these different colored plaid fabrics and then different materials of blue for the body like it's just so unique it's it's just so me i love it i'm well aware that my style isn't everybody's style and that's okay like that's what makes life fun is we all like different things and my style just like everybody is like constantly evolving i've always said i'm not somebody who sticks to a certain look some days i dress more edgy some days i dress more girly some days i'm like all 90s doubt other days, I'm just in my cozy, comfy, hippie era. Like I'm just all over the place. And that's what I love about fashion is every day I get to wake up and decide how I wanna present myself to the world based on how I'm feeling internally. For example, we're now gonna go to an extreme opposite. I got this all black, plain cropped aloe yoga sweater because last year when I was here in LA, cause I, I, I didn't really spend much time here in the summer. So I just got back and I'm spending the rest of 2023 here, but I didn't spend about four months here. Um, but before I left, I had all these outfits where I wanted and needed a black cropped 
hoodie and I just didn't have one. So I found this one right before I left. So I have had this for a few months, but I've only worn it once because I bought it and then left town. So I'm back and I will be wearing this a lot because again, I just have so many outfits where a plain black hoodie, it's just a staple. Like it's just a staple, you can't go wrong. And I love this one because while it does get cold in LA, it certainly doesn't get like wintry cold. So it's a nice thin fabric, which is perfect for here. Speaking of outfits, that are gonna go perfectly with that black hoodie. And speaking of going to the East Coast in November and needing warm clothes, I bought this literally last night because I saw it probably 10 days ago or a week ago and I couldn't get it off my mind. And that's how you know you need to go try it on. And I did, it fit perfectly. It is so stinking cute. It is my perfect like ski bunny energy and I love skiing. So I will absolutely be wearing this anytime I go skiing in the future. And I will be cozying up in my boyfriend's parents' house on the couch watching movies over Thanksgiving in this outfit because I am not cut out for East Coast winters, okay? I was raised in them, I was depressed in them, it was horrible. I just, I'm just not, some of us just aren't made for it and I am one of them. I not only get the worst seasonal depression ever, but um, I hibernate, I am so cold. <laughs> My dad used to come into my room because in high school, the house I lived in, it was so old. It was like 120 years old and each room had individual heating, like individual radiators. And I would be in my bed with a hot water bottle in like fleecy pajamas under all these blankets. And he'd walk in and he'd be like, Molly, it literally feels like you're in Fiji. It feels like it, we are on the beach in your bedroom. Like the heating bill was 90% my bedroom. <laughs> I just can't do it. And like his family is gonna be used to the cold. And so I'm not. So I just needed something cozy and this this is doing it for me. It is overalls, which is just so me. Half my closet at this point is one piece outfits. And if you are a blind girl and you struggle to put an outfit together, or frankly, if you're a sighted girl and you just aren't good with fashion, your answer, your secret is one piece outfits or matching sets. That is all. Your entire closet becomes matching sets and one piece outfits. Look at these, you guys. Are you kidding me? They are a fleecy plaid red pair of overalls with these buckle straps, this like black nylon pocket, these cool straps at the front to tighten them, pockets, like they have everything I need. And then you can cinch the ankles to lock in the heat, okay? They're perfect in every way with the black hoodie under it, black boots, black leggings underneath. It is about layering, okay? Winter's about layering and that's what I'll be doing. So my real issue is recently I've been Christmas shopping and as somebody whose love language is gift giving, Christmas is truly a miracle. Like I can't stop, I really can't. I just keep going. I see things, I think people will love them, I buy them, I have to, it's a compulsion, okay? And I'm gonna do a video like of all the things I'm giving for Christmas, probably in early December, almost like a holiday gift guide, but actually showing you guys gifts I'm giving to the people in my life. So whether it's for your boyfriend or your dad or your brother or your mom or your best friend, I have got you covered with some really unique and cool gift ideas this year. But I also love supporting small businesses during the holiday season. So I went to the Melrose Trading Post, which I absolutely adore. It's a flea market here in LA with lots of vintage pieces, thrifted items, homemade crafts, local artisans. It's amazing for the holidays. So I went to go Christmas shopping and I ended up, of course, buying some things for myself. That's my problem. I'm out with the intention of getting things for other people and I very much do, but then I also get things for myself. I didn't get this bag. I've had this bag for a year and a half now. It's a Kalina Strata bag and we use it way more than we even ever expected, don't we mom? Yeah. This bag has been a godsend because it's so big. I got this little pin. It's this smiley face daisy pin. You guys know daisies make me think of my first guide dog, Gypsy. And so I just had to, I thought it would look really cute on this bag. I had this bag with me because it is such a big tote that I brought it for, to, you know, to put all the things in that I would purchase for people. And I just stuck it on there because I just thought it was so cute. Oh my God. Speaking of holiday gift ideas, I found this local artist he goes by Paper8, P-A-P-E-R-8. I'll link it below. He has a website and an Instagram and he does pencil drawings 
of pop culture things. So whether it's Legally Blonde, Barbie, Mean Girls, Taylor Swift, um, your favorite TV show Friends, Schitt's Creek, I'm just naming all my favorite things. He's drawn something inspired by that. And I specifically got the Taylor Swift one. The t-shirt is such nice quality. He does them on t-shirts, really beautiful quality canvas bags, crew necks, he has um, baseball hats. The t-shirt is such high quality. It was $32, which I think for a high quality t-shirt that is unique and supports a local artist is a really good price. And look at it, you guys. <laughs> Basically, oh, he has Harry Styles one too. That's really cool. He takes an Instagram from the artist, then hand draws it with pencil on a sticky note, and then puts it onto these t-shirts, like prints it on, and then writes the caption of the Instagram. So this one has like at Taylor Swift, it has that over 4 million people liked it, it has like the specific number, but I can't read it. And then it says something like, not a lot going on right now. Compared to, I know like Taylor Swift merch is cool and all, but I don't know, I just think this is so much more unique than getting traditional artist merch and it supports a small artist. So completely and utterly obsessed with that. And then speaking of supporting a small business, these were gifted to me a few months back um, before I left for the summer, but I didn't get an opportunity to show you guys. This is a business called Self Care is for Everyone and they make mental health inspired clothing pieces, which I just think is super awesome. So they sent me this hoodie. So this one is the 100 Reasons to Stay Alive hoodie. It says keep going. And then on the back, I got the lavender one, by the way. On the back, it has listed 100 Reasons to Stay Alive. And I think this is actually also a really great holiday gift idea. If you know of somebody who struggles with their mental health or works in the mental health field, I think these would be very cute. Um, and they also sent me this pastel pink crew neck that has like, you know those hello, my name is stickers that you wear at events and stuff. Well, this one says like, hello, I am anxious. I'm anxious. Hello, I'm probably anxious, which, you know, it's pretty accurate for a lot of us. I just think that's adorable. Along with adorable crew necks. This is my Elton hoodie or my Elton crew neck. Um, Elton John is my Winnie the Pooh and it's this smiling Winnie the Pooh and it says honey underneath it. So stinking cute. I got this on my recent trip to England from Primark. I've been looking for months, like since I went to Disney with Elton in this video, I've been looking for Winnie the Pooh merch and I obviously couldn't pass this up when I found it because it is Elton. I hope you all stayed this long because this might be the best item I'm showing you. I know that's dramatic, but finding a good basic can be so hard, especially one that's good quality at an affordable price. And I have, I have done it. Dare I say I have found the best plain t-shirt there is. Boom, okay? I just got this in the mail from Amazon. I tried it on and I immediately ordered two other colors. I ordered a forest green and I ordered a white. There's so many nice colors. I wanna order the long sleeve bodysuit. It's amazing, okay? This is the crazy yoga brand, CRZ Yoga on Amazon. This is the Butterlux collection. I'm gonna have it linked in my fashion storefront down below if you want this exact one. It's so good. It reminds me of some of my favorite basics from Aritzia for half the price, but just as good quality. The only thing I don't like about it is there is like a tiny logo on the back bottom, but like if, if you're using it as a layering piece, nobody's even gonna see that. The fit on this, if you like a baby tee fit, like form fitting cropped, amazing. It is double lined so you can wear it without a bra and nothing's being seen. And I almost never wear a bra, so that's perfect for me. I couldn't be happier. I needed a black cropped tee. I did not have one anywhere. So I got this, it is perfection. I just love this so utterly much that I need to get the long sleeve bodysuit. I need everything, I need everything. I wanna try their boxy cropped ones because this one is so good. You cannot get a better basic. I swear by this already. And finally, I'm gonna end with a few accessories that I got at Free People when I was in London. I have been on the hunt for green sunglasses that are inexpensive and I found them at Free People. I have been looking on Amazon because I think Amazon has some really great sunglasses at affordable prices. However, every pair of green sunnies I was finding on Amazon had green lenses and I need like a proper color. Like green would not be blocking the sun enough for my photophobia, AKA light sensitivity. Whereas these have brown lenses, but the green frames, 
and they're perfect. So adore these. And then they had a deal on socks. And I don't know if you know this, but socks are a very big trend right now. Like interesting socks peeking out over your sneakers or your boots. And they had a sale. Um, so I got three for the price of two or something like that. So I got, which color are these? I got this nice blue color with this adorable cream, like lacy ruffle detail. I got these floral ones that have the lacy ruffle detail. And I got these green ones that have the lacy ruffle detail. Um, and I can't find them. Those are my best sock finds. And that is it. That is everything that I've gotten over the past six months at my LA place versus the other one that was the past six months at my BC place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. The next haul type of video you'll be seeing from me, as I said, will be more of like a gift guide, things I bought for other people in my life, and I'm really excited for that. So turn on your notification bell if you wanna be notified when that video does go live or when any of my other videos get posted. Thanks again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Use code Molly Burke for an additional 40% off a year for his ThreadUp purchase. Shop my favorites linked down below, along with as many of these other things that I can link as possible. And I will see you next time, but until then, you can click over here to watch that haul that I kept referencing if you haven't seen it yet, or over here to see my haul from Japan. Everything that I purchased in Japan back in April when I was there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.